Greetings critters, it's Fox here and welcome to my Burrow of Thoughts, aka my channel where we talk about everything spooky and today will be a spooky book review of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. So settle into your burrows because things are about to get so. My thoughts on Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. First off, I read this every fall every year leading up to Halloween. It is a must for me. I have done this since high school and that was a long time ago. So here's why I read this every single year. First off, Mary Shelley's writing was so unique for its time. It was written in the Victorian era of the 1800s and a female writer writing horror wasn't really a thing back then, so she really instilled the strong voice of women, especially in the horror genre, which I love. Way to go, girl. Way to represent. Um, and also, it is a really good story for its short length. I mean, she packed this full of so many different tropes of horror, of gore, of tragedy, and just Oh, this story. Oh, I digress. So first off, it does have good twists to this story. It is told in multiple points of view via letters, diary ent entries, and recounts by multiple characters. And you might find that along with Mary Shelley's writing style to make this a little bit more of a slower paced horror. However, I think if you are someone who likes gothic horror, you will immensely appreciate Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. It is something else. It has beautifully written literature, and like I said, it is gothic, so I find it beautifully written. And it has this profound underlying message for me, which is that science and technology can go too far sometimes and that every life, no matter who or what it belongs to, matters. And for that to be the message to me, but for that to be the possible message of this book in its time, that's amazing. There is a very, very good ending to this book. I mean, it is, it is sensational. The way she wrapped up this tale was perfection. I'm trying not to give too much away in this review because as I said, so as vague as this review is, I'm trying to keep it that way just so I don't ruin anything because you really need to experience this story in full to appreciate it. And that all being said, I am rating this five tails out of five. And I highly recommend it if you're looking for a gothic, spooky, and awesome Halloween themed read. You will not be disappointed if that's your genre of choice. Again, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, a staple in my Halloween read collection. Well, critters. <laughs> That's all from this set of rights. Thank you for being here and watching. It means the whole wide and wild wilderness to me, your support. I love you all. Thanks again. And until next time, stay cozy and stay spooky. Bye.